Hi, I'm Mohit Tavarmalani. I'm a professor in the quantitative methods area at the Cranard School of Management. I want to talk to you about uh, the business analytics or analytical consulting option uh, that you might uh, uh, consider as you uh, look at your program uh, plan of study. Uh, the business analytics option or the analytical uh, consulting option is an option that uh, allows you to uh, enhance your skills in using analytical tools and data sets for making or driving uh, decisions for companies. Analytics has been the growing trend uh, recently. An IDC report recently uh, released in July uh, said that uh, uh, there would be a market of about $50 billion for business analytics by 2016 and uh, the trend will be growing at the rate of about 10 percent every year. Uh, similarly, there have been other reports from McKinsey uh, saying that the demand for analytics uh, is far exceeding the amount of supply at this point. As you can understand, analytics uh, when it requires, on one side requires the use of uh, statistical quantitative optimization tools and uh, the quantitative methods area offers a variety of courses in that uh, domain. It also requires you to understand and learn more about information technology, uh, which is uh, which you can, and that knowledge you can acquire through the courses offered in the MIS program. And so, when you look at the analytical consulting uh, program, you will see that there is a blend of courses, uh, some of which are taken from. Uh, offerings uh, from quantitative methods, some of them from information systems, and and others are from economics. So uh, the the program has been created in a way that it allows you to develop proficiency with data, uh, the information technology tools, and databases, and the ability to use uh, analytical techniques like uh, optimization and uh, statistical analysis to make better decisions for companies. Uh, the analytical consulting option requires you to do 12 credits uh, and there is a and the courses are divided into two blocks. The first uh, block of courses gives you uh, from which you have to do two or three courses gives you an exposure to uh, database management, advanced spreadsheet modeling, data mining, and uh, quality improvement. And each of these tools, uh, whether it's spreadsheets, whether it's uh, data mining, or it's database management, all of these uh, courses will be useful in a variety of these uh, type of uh, job uh, functions. Um, the second set of courses is a larger set of courses uh, involving uh, different areas, including uh, application areas like operations or e economics. Uh, and uh, and finance and these expose you to things like investment management or uh, logistics planning 